West Virginia has over 20,000 farms, more than any other state, and 95% of these are family owned and operated. Of these 20,000 plus farms, more than half of them have under 100 acres. These West Virginia small farms have an average income of $10,000 a year. Food prices may be on the increase, but in the past 30 years, the share of the food dollar used on processing and marketing has increased by 180 percent. So the portion left to pay for actual food production keeps getting smaller. In fact, the farmer's share is about 20 cents on the dollar, a drop from 24 cents on the dollar in 1997. In 2002, farmers earned their lowest net cash income since the 1940s. The result of this continuous decrease in the farmer's share of the food dollar means that in the 30 years from 1965 to 1995, West Virginia lost a tremendous number of farms, almost 18,000, mostly to urban sprawl. And the loss in actual farmland is an astounding 1,820,000 acres of farmland. During that same period, 1964 to 1997, the USDA reports that West Virginia lost another 21,700 acres of orchard land. Where I live right now in Hampshire County is getting anywhere from two to five dollars for this entire crate of apples filled up. Okay, it's 48 pounds of apples, they get between two and five dollars. If they're little small apples like this, they get less than a dollar a bushel for them and they go for juice. It costs almost 60 cents a bushel to have them picked by migrant workers. So by the time you do that, pay for your spray, pay for many other things, this, it's worthless. Let them hit the ground. And that's what most farmers do. And then what happens is a year or so later, somebody, after this happens, year after year after year, someone comes to the orchardist and he says, you know, that's the prettiest view you've got on the back end of this farm. Can I buy this two or three acres for $5,000? And the farmer's like, that's more money than I've made off of it, yeah and then we lose that piece of farmland. But there are some people who just love the farm and want to stay. There are some strategies that work for increasing income on small farms, but it means rethinking our business and our way of doing business. At our factory, we have groups of farmers come in from all over the United States. All right, We had a group from Delaware come down, and we were talking about what they grow. And one of the farmers there, he says, well, pumpkins, but I just can't seem to sell them. People don't want to buy them. He's on the way to the beach in Delaware. Well, then we started thinking about it. When do you buy pumpkins? Halloween? When do you go to the beach? Not Halloween, right? He's passing up the biggest market of the year. You're starting in last of May, all the way through the first of September, people are driving past his pumpkin patch. And these people have lots of money in their pocket on the way to the beach. Is he selling them any sweet corn? No. Is he 